Hi guys. Today speaking on Boeing and Boeing Manufactory and History. I think that Boeing is the biggest aircraft manufacturer of the world. Development of military and mail delivery aircraft. The Boeing company was established by aviation pioneer William Edward Boeing on July 15, 1916. The company was located in Seattle and was called Pacific Aero Products Co. But the name was changed one year later in honor of the founder. The company's first airplane, model C2 place Trining Seaplane, was designed in November 1916. Major impact on World War II outcome. The Great Depression had a tremendous effect on aviation industry in the 1930s, delaying the production of the first financially successful commercial aircraft. Only in 1939, Boeing's rival McDonnell Douglas Corporation created first profitable commercial airplane Douglas DC-3, used to carry over 90% of U.S. air travelers by the beginning of World War II. In response to Douglas DC-3, Boeing developed a long-range 314 Clipper that was largest civilian aircraft of its time. It featured dressing rooms, dining salons and was able to carry 90 passengers. The success in the scheduled flight field did not last long as the World War II came. During the Created war, with free Boeing version for non-commercial military use. aircraft. The B-17, the Flying Fortress and B-29 Super Fortress are among the most famous Boeing models of those times. The B-29 had a great range that was fundamental in winning the war in the Pacific region, while B-17 was used for high-altitude missions in Europe. Gen. Carl Spartz, the U.S. Air Commander in the Old Continent once said, Without the Boeing B-17, we may have lost the World War II. By spring 1944, production of Boeing military aircraft ramped up so much that over 350 planes were built each month, mainly by women whose husbands had gone to war. Connecting the two continents After World War II, the need for military bombers dropped rapidly as most orders were cancelled, making the usans of workers lose the jobs at Boeing. The company tried to recover from slowing demand by developing commercial airliner that would be powered by turbofans instead of propellers and would be able to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Boeing was not the only company that offered transatlantic flights. The trips could have been made British to Havilland Comet, French Sud Aviation Caravelle and Soviet to Polif 104 Therefore, in 1958, Boeing created the 707 a four-engine airliner capable of carrying 156 passengers on a transatlantic route. Due to shorter journeys and more comfortable travel, 707 quickly won the hearts of passengers. The model was followed by the created 727 with free version for use. and 737 Twinjet, the latter becoming world's best-selling commercial plane by the end of 20th century. The Incredibles Era In order to keep up with growing number of aircraft sales, in 1966 Boeing commenced the monumental engineering challenge, the construction of the Everett factory. Despite the fact that the manufacturing facility was world's largest building by volume, 13,385,378 cubic meters, it was built in only 16 months by the group of staggeringly efficient workers, later nicknamed the Incredibles. The Everett factory became home of the first wide-body jetliner Boeing 747 capable of carrying 490 passengers, more than twice as much as 707. The aircraft held a capacity record for 37 years and was sold over 1,500 times. On the brink of bankruptcy, even though 747 gave monopoly in this wide-body market segment, the start of the 1970s was hard for the plane manufacturer. It faced a $2 billion debt from 747 production. 
In addition, USA military reduced spending for Vietnam War, which meant less military aircraft orders for Boeing. The company struggled so much that it went more than a year without a domestic order and had to lay off around half of the employees. The massive cuts at Boeing lead to a billboard that read, Will the last person leaving Seattle turn out the lights? Boeing's economic situation began to improve only in the 1980s when the air traffic demand increased. However, the competition for new orders was harsher as Airbus, the new European plane manufacturer, arose with Created the E320. Created with free version for non-commercial use. In response, Boeing developed single aisle 757, twin aisle 767, and upgraded 737. Back on top. The 1990s led Boeing to completely regain its strong financial status. The company, along with Lockheed, won an order from USA Air Force for the twin-engine stealth fighter F-22 Raptor. In addition to the jet, Boeing developed a hugely successful commercial aircraft 777. The long-range, wide-body, 777 was the first airplane to be designed by a computer and over 1,000 were sold to this day. The end of the decade was noted by the acquisition of its longtime rival. In 1997, Boeing completed the largest merger in the aviation history by purchasing McDonnell Douglas Corporation for more than $13 billion. The combined company employed around 200,000 employees, bringing total revenue in excess of $48 billion Created in 1997. Created with free version for non-commercial use. Around $28 billion of the sum came from Boeing and $20 billion from McDonnell Douglas. Fuel-efficient millennium. The new millennium was marked by the development of a new mid-range airliner 787 Dreamliner. The plane was lighter and more fuel-efficient than most aircraft produced of aluminum alloys because almost half of plane's fuselage and wings were made of carbon fiber and plastic composite materials. Originally scheduled to start commercial service in 2008, it was delivered to Japan's all-Nippon Airways in 2011. The same year, Boeing has signed the largest commercial aircraft order in its history when Indonesia's line air ordered 201737 MAX and 29737 to 900 Air airliners for $21 billion at list prices. Finally guys, I think extreme history for me that though Boeing company. Please subscribe my channel for more contents and videos. Goodbye.